buon pomeriggio a tutte e a tutti, benvenuti, bentornati a Primaria Live. Oggi siamo qui con Jennifer Single, andiamo a vedere se Jennifer c'è, se il collegamento funziona. La vedo con... Ci sono! Ciao Jennifer, ci sei! Buonasera a tutti! Ciao! Allora, Jennifer Single, che poi dopo mi rimprovererà, è Senior Education Consultant per Oxford, quindi Bravo. è cons grazie. consulente pedagogico, ecco così la dico più, <ride> più <ride> perché oggi io rischio di fare delle, delle brutte figure. Allora, oggi è il secondo appuntamento di Primaria Live con Oxford, è un doppio piacere, abbiamo già detto l'altra volta, da una parte perché Oxford ha una partnership con, con Rizzoli che è ormai di, di lunghissima data è consolidata e il piacere è doppio perché da quest'anno dal 2020 ha anche avuto inizio la collaborazione tra Oxford e Ericsson quindi si sono unite due eccellenze due eccellenze nella ricerca due eccellenze nella didattica e due eccellenze eh, nell'inclusione vera allora io non rubo più tempo di tanto a Jennifer, eh, ci racconterà di Learn with Us e ci racconterà di nuove metodologie per insegnare inglese in Italia. Jennifer, ti lascio la parola e poi dopo vedo intanto se arriveranno delle domande. Spero che non arrivino troppo in inglese. Vai Jennifer, grazie. Ok, grazie mille Mauro. Adesso cambio e spero che potete vedere anche i slide. Ok, so cambio anche lingua. Da questo punto in poi parlerò in inglese. So welcome everyone and thank you for coming to the Oxford presentation at Primaria Live this afternoon. Um, as Mauro said, my name is Jennifer Single and I'm the Senior Educational Consultant for Oxford University Press based in Tuscany. Ok, um, and I've had the pleasure over the last year or so to work specifically with our editorial department on our brand new course, Learn With Us, okay? So Learn With Us is a new, brand new course for the primary school um, and it's really exciting because it's full of rich new materials to use with your primary students, okay? Now, as usual with any Oxford course, we spend a lot of time doing research, lots of ricerca, the research. And for Learn With Us, that was no exception. We did focus groups, we sent out questionnaires to teachers all over Italy. And we asked what teachers would like to see in a brand new Oxford course. And lots of teachers know our courses already. They use treetops, rainbow bridge, perhaps even shine on. And we said, what would your ideal course look like? And we listened very carefully to teachers from all over the country. And we tried to answer all of the things that you are asking for in this course. OK, so I'll tell you a few of the things that teachers were telling us that they would like in a new Oxford course. Number one, more video, lots of video to use in class with your Lavagna Interattive, your LIM. Um, so we've tried to answer on that front as well. Another one was lots of listening practice, also because with the Invalsi test in Quinta, we need lots of help with listening and it's where our students tend to be weakest. Okay, so teachers have asked us for more listening. And because of Invalsi, more preparation for Invalsi in general, okay? more grammar, more revision, and also lots and lots of resources, okay? So based on that research, what I'm going to show you today is an overview of this brand new course. So more specifically, I'll introduce you to the new course, okay, and show you the fruits of our research. I'll talk to you for a few minutes about what a real world approach to teaching English is and how that works, okay? I'll show you why Learn With Us could become your friend in English, l'amico per l'inglese, both of the teacher and of your students too. 
We'll take a look inside the book and I'll show you what a typical unit looks like. We'll look more specifically at Quarta and Quinta. And then I'm going to show you both the student resources, but also the teacher's resources too. OK, so I'll leave plenty of time at the end for questions. I'm just going to check very briefly that you can all see the slides and that the comments are continuing. I hope you can all see the slides OK. Excellent. So let's continue then. This is Learn With Us. So I'd like to introduce Learn With Us to you. And Learn With Us is a course that helps our students to learn by doing, learn together and learn from one another. And here on the slide now, you can see all of the covers of Learn With Us. And as you can see, they're very bright and happy and there's lots of children. OK, and that's important because it shows you more about what the approach of this course is like. OK, now I have my copy of Learn With Us here with me. OK, and one of the things I want you to note, and I hope you can see this, is that on the front cover, there's a codice QR, a QR code. And that QR code is really important because it gives easy access to all of the audio and video for the whole course. So students at each level with their parents at home can scan the QR code and access all of the audio and video much more easily, okay? Also something to note that you can see on the screen is the Ericsson logo, okay? I hope you can see that, the little red Ericsson logo. Um, and that's because Learn With Us, as Mauro mentioned at the beginning, is a collaboration between Oxford and Ericsson. And it almost marks the start of our relationship because it's our first really um, close collaboration. OK, so this is Learn With Us and the five levels that you can see on the screen at the moment. And like I said, we have a really strong collaboration with Ericsson um, on this course. And I will tell you more about what the collaboration with Ericsson means later on in our session. OK, so moving on, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the author of the course. Now, we've been running a series of webinars with our author and her name is Vanessa Riley. And some of you may already have attended an Oxford webinar with Vanessa recently. Now, Vanessa is great because she's a teacher trainer and an author and has been for more than 28 years. She has a huge amount of experience with children from all over the world. Uh, and she's a real expert in primary teaching and how children learn. The name Vanessa Riley may already be familiar with, uh, to you, and that's because Vanessa has written many books for Oxford, including resource books for young learners um, and other courses too. OK, so there you can see Vanessa on the screen. I'd also like to extend an invitation to you all on this slide to join us every Tuesday on the Oxford YouTube channel, if you can make it. Um, and that's because every Tuesday from now and right through May, we have a program in place with Vanessa for teachers and the children. So the families to be involved for stories and sing along time with Vanessa. So as you can see on the screen, story time and sing along, momenti gioiosi con i bambini. So this is an event every Tuesday for the children. OK, and Vanessa tells stories, she sings songs and really gets the children involved. So this is a real helping hand with distance learning at the moment. OK, um, so it means that the children can be involved from home as well. So I hope that's of interest to you. Um, please join us on a Tuesday and you too can meet Vanessa Riley. So that's the author of Learn With Us. OK. Now, I'd like to spend a few minutes talking more specifically about the methodology behind Learn With Us. Now, um, the, re the methodology of, of Learn With Us is something that's based firmly in the real world. We call it a real world methodology. OK, and in Italian, we could say that that's the 
vita quotidiana, like daily life, real world, il mondo reale, okay? Now, what, what this means in the course book is that we have lots of content that's taken from the real world. Now, that doesn't mean that there's fantasy lacking, there's plenty of fantasy too, but it means that everything we see within the book has sense in reality, okay? So the way that we learn when we're children is from the world around us. So here in the middle of the slide at the moment, you can see Alex, and he's one of the children that leads us through the course, Learn With Us. Now, when we're small, we learn from the world around us. So as you can see from the pictures, we learn from our family and what we see at home. We learn from our friends. We learn from what we learn at school and our friends and teachers at school. And we also learn from things that take place in our everyday life. So children learn from their toys, their games and situations that they meet in their everyday life. OK, so young children learn what they can see and from what they can hear. And this is the methodology that we've used in Learn With Us, okay? And I'll explain more to you about that very, very shortly, okay? So as you can see here with a quote from Gibbons, one of the first things a young child learns is how to talk about their here and now. So what we see and what we do in our everyday lives has a great influence on how we learn. And this is really important in language learning because it means that we learn from what we see and do, and then we can then reproduce that language more easily. Now, as we're children, we grow very quickly and the world around us grows quickly too. So when we're small children, our world's quite small. But as we grow, the world gets larger and we meet different situations as we grow uh, bigger. OK, so this methodology is what we see throughout Learn With Us. And there is the world up there to remind us of this real world methodology. OK, so what do we get when we have lots of real life, real world input. Well, if we add that to repetition, again, using the language that we learn frequently and in lots of different contexts, we have communication as our result. So Learn With Us is based on this idea that lots of real, real life input with repetition of language gets communication. So our children in our class start to speak, okay? And on the screen at the moment, you can see the five children that are the protagonists of the course Learn With Us. So in Prima, over on the left, we have Alex. In Seconda, Sarah. Terza, Tom. And then in Quarta and Quinta, we have Lily and Jack. Now, these five children are the protagonists of the course, and that actually means that they almost take our pupils by the hand and lead them through the book. So we see a lot of these children. We learn a lot about their lives. We learn about how they spend their spare time, how they spend their time with their family and friends, and the children in our class learn from them, okay? So they become l'amico per l'inglese, our friends in English, okay? And as you will see, we see a lot of these children throughout the course, okay? So real world content with lots of repetition and a child that guides you through the course. And that's the methodology that we have at the heart of Learn With Us, okay? So Alex, Sarah, Tom, Lily and Jack become our friends in English. Now I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about what that means on the page of the book, okay? Now, I told you that we will see a lot of these children and that's exactly what happens. We have the real world on every page of Learn With Us. And actually, one level of the book, like Prima that I have here, represents a year in the life of the child that's the protagonist. So Alex here in Prima, okay? Now that means that Alex lives his life and goes to school, does activities after school and goes out with his family, plays with his friends. And we see all of those situations 
as the unit topics in Learn With Us. So there's real world on every single page, okay? Now, the same applies in all of the other levels too. So here on the left of the screen, where you can see Alex, we can see Alex's face, and this is the first unit of Prima. Over on the right, where we have Lily, we have the second unit of Quarta as examples, okay? And as you can see, we have a picture of the child and it's linked to video. So every unit starts with a video. And as you can see with Alex, the example unit, unit one, is all about school. So it's a real world scenario, something that all of our children do, or should I say normally do. OK, obviously things are slightly different at the moment during the period of lockdown, but we hope that by September we'll be all back in classrooms and things will normalise. OK, so school is unit one in Prima and over in Quarta, we can see unit two. That's my day. And Lily introduces the pupils to how she spends a typical day and what her daily routine looks like. OK, so we meet the children and see the situations that they meet in their everyday lives on every page. OK, we also have lots of videos to help to bring the real world into the classroom. At the beginning of our session, I mentioned how important video um, was in our research. So many teachers all over Italy told us that video content is almost essential in class. So with Learn With Us, there's plenty of video, but it's not obligatory. If you don't have access to an interactive whiteboard or a DVD player in class, you can still use this course with absolutely no problem. OK, but there is plenty of video for teachers that like using it. And sure enough, having lots of video content brings the course to life. OK, so the first sort of video content that we have is a video with the child from the course who introduce you to the level. So this is a screenshot taken from the first level where Alex introduces you to his family. So you can see him there with his mom, dad, brother, sister and his dog. And he takes you around his house. He shows you where his uh, bedroom is. He goes into the garden and he shows you his mom at work as well. OK, so a video introduces each level and sets the scene with the child who takes us through that level. OK, just going to check everything's OK in the comments and then I'll go back. OK, I'm conscious that there's a lot of us in the room. So teachers from all over Italy, hello to you all. OK, so moving on, we don't only have a video that introduces you to the level. We also have a video which introduces, which introduces every single unit in the book. So if I take my first level of Learn With Us that I have here in front of me, any unit that I go to in the book, like this one, where Alex takes his pets to the vet, every unit starts with a video too which will explain to me and explain to the pupils in our class more about that real life situation that Alex or the other children came into contact with. So the screenshot that you can see on the screen now is an introductory video where Alex is preparing his school bag to go to school and his, his mom comes into the room and says, hello, Alex, are you ready? Do you have everything you need? OK, so really real videos that children in our classrooms can relate to. OK, now I'll talk to you about video a little bit later on. But now I'd like to spend the next few minutes looking more inside a unit. OK, and I'm going to use Prima as our example. But the units work in a very, very similar way across all levels of Learn With Us. And I'll tell you what some of the differences are very shortly. OK, so let's look inside a unit. And the unit that we're going to look at is Unit 2 of Prima. And as you can see from the title of the unit, After School. So this is all about what the children do in their spare time and what they do when school has finished. OK, 
So every single unit in Learn With Us starts in the same way with a lesson one, which you can see written at the top of the page, although it's rather small, I realize. And it says lesson one, vocabulary. OK, now in this unit, we teach all of the vocabulary to the students that they'll need for the rest of the unit. It's kind of a pre-teaching warming up with the vocabulary. You can choose to watch the video with Alex if you want. OK, and then you do a listening activity. And as you can see there, we have listen, point and say. Exercise three, dance and chat. And then exercise four, play. So we have a very gradual, very structured approach to teaching vocabulary. Now, obviously, you can choose how you pre-teach the vocabulary. You can use your teacher's ebook on the interactive whiteboard. You could use flashcards, and I'll talk more about flashcards later on. And also, there are stickers in Prima and Seconda, because obviously the students in Prima and Seconda may be less confident with writing and just learning. So they use stickers to express their understanding of what they've learned. At the bottom of every page, we have the key vocabulary, in this case, parts of the body written on the page. OK, and when we go over to the right, we have our second lesson, which consolidates vocabulary, but focuses on a song. And I'm going to show you an example of a song um, very shortly. OK, so you can see watch, dance and sing. And we have lots of different animated songs that the children in our class can follow to learn the vocabulary. OK. So that's lesson one, vocabulary. Lesson two focuses on a song. OK, now, why are songs so important? And I put here, keep calm and keep singing. That's because songs are so important in language learning. Now, they're perfect for repetition. We saw at the beginning how important repetition of real world language is. And songs give the opportunity, the possibility to repeat, repeat, repeat. OK. They also help our students to become more confident in the language that they know. It has a valid context. They learn language that's new and can put it into practice immediately through a song. It also helps to link school with home and reality. OK, and often children go home wanting to carry on singing the songs. They're also great because songs often have actions and Learn With Us definitely has that. That's perfect for our total physical response lessons, very inclusive. And most children want to participate in songs lessons. OK. And they also help to create a nice atmosphere in the classroom. So they help the children to feel very happy in English. And they can also lead to something that I've called here SSI. THP, which is too difficult and long to guess, but it's something that Murphy refers to as the song stuck in the head phenomenon. And you probably know very well that sometimes you hear a song that stays in your head forever and you can't get it out until you hear another song. This is when a song is very catchy, it gets stuck in your head, okay? And we almost want that to happen in the primary classroom because it means that the children go home with the vocabulary and the curriculum that we're teaching stuck in their head. OK, and this is something Vanessa Riley, the author of Learn With Us, believes very firmly in. OK, so um, song stuck in the head phenomenon. And that's something that we have plenty of in Learn With Us with catchy songs that you can use over and over again in lessons. OK, now an an we have plenty of animated songs. We have them right through to Quarta. OK, and in Prima and Seconda, they are particularly special. And the reason for that is that in Prima and Seconda, the songs are animated with animatori, with other kids doing the actions to the songs, OK, to help understanding. This means that we can get the whole class involved if we don't like singing that much as teachers, we can turn the DVD on and show it in class. But we can all sing together as a group and it makes it really easy to understand the actions and it becomes a total physical response activity. I'd now like to call on my technical colleagues at Rizzoli 
if it's possible to show you another example, because I've got another example to show. Sarebbe possibile far vedere il video a questo punto, per favore? I like biscuits and strawberries too. I like grapes. How about you? But oh no, oh no, I don't like eggs. I like sandwiches and milkshake too. I like eggs. How about you? But oh no, oh no, I don't like cake. I like carrots and sandwiches too. I like cake. How about you? But oh no. Ok, grazie mille per il video. Ok, I hope that that gives you a clear idea of what an animated video looks like. So as you can see, you have things like actions, like carrot, we had cake, uh, we have sandwiches, ok? And all of these things remain in the memory of our children in our classes, ok? So an animated song can really, really help to get the whole class involved and also remembering and using the vocabulary that they've learned, ok? So we get animated songs in four levels, but the ones with the animatori and the children leading the, the vocab and the learning here in prima and seconda. OK, so animated songs, plenty of those. And there's something very, very special about this course. So lesson one, vocabulary. Lesson two, songs with animated songs. Let's look now at lesson three. And lesson three of every level of Learn With Us is dedicated to storytelling. Now, as you know, as teachers, stories are really, really important in the primary classroom. And actually, stories are important for learners of all levels, even adult learners like stories. The problem is, the problem is in language learning that we use stories less and less the older that we get, the more that we grow up. But primary English classroom is the perfect place to use stories. OK, now there are some fundamental principles to having a good story. OK, you need good sound effects, good illustrations. You need them to be involving. You need them to have some kind of exciting element of suspense. You also need them ideally to teach something, OK, not just be a story for the sake of a story. And we've tried to do that with each and every story within Learn With Us. So every third lesson is dedicated to stories. And the example that you can see on the screen at the moment is from Prima and it's called The Magic Pencil. OK, now here there's lots of fantasy and we have a, a boy here called Ollie and he has a magic pencil, OK? So we have a real world um, basis to the course, but we have fantasy through the stories, of course. Um, all of the stories are animated, so you can watch them either uh, through the QR code at home or you can watch them um, on the Lavania Interativa, on the whiteboard in class. And the stories in Learn With Us are very different from each other. OK, so we don't have the same characters in each story. They cover lots of different genres um, and we have a really nice collection of classics, things like the elves and the shoemaker and also more modern stories such as the magic pencil. When we get through to Quinta, we even have stories such as more kind of real life scenarios like Marie Curie. OK, and the story of, of science and nursing in her case. OK, so. Um, interestingly, every story is also introduced by our child um, amico, our child friend, 
okay? So in the case of Prima, all of the stories are introduced by Alex and in um, Quarta, they're introduced by Lily, okay? So in the case of Prima, Alex has gone to bed, he's about to go to sleep and he gives an introduction to the story. So he says, hi everyone, nice to see you. Um, I'm going to read you a story about a magic pencil. What do you think will happen? Okay, so this is a really nice link for what happens in the course book with the reality of home. Okay, so reading before bed, nice habits and so on. And it, it makes it easier for the students in our class to relate to. Now, um, obviously, as we go up the levels of the course book, um, the stories become um, more, more complex, there's more language in there, more words on the page. Um, this is a screenshot taken from Quarta, where we have the story of Mulan, okay? So a nice story there. And I've got my copy of Quarta here, and I'll also show you this page, A Colourful Winter. Okay, so we have stories, lots of different coloured stories with more language pre um, presented at the higher levels with lots of repetition. OK, so it's all gradual with lots of repetition of words that we need to understand the language in the unit. OK. Now, back to video for a moment. I can't go through this presentation without mentioning video a lot. And um, I wanted to tell you that overall, in Learn With Us, there are seven different types of video in the five levels, so seven types, okay? So we have our videos introducing the level, we have our videos with the children introducing the unit, we have our animated songs, like the one that you can see on the screen, which is a different one to the one I showed you, Have You Got a Bag? And there's all of the actions to go with it. We also have our animated story videos, we have project videos that I'll talk to you a little bit about later on. Um, CLIL videos, Civiltà videos, like the example on the screen now, where they're visiting the Natural History Museum in London and they can see the dinosaurs. And we also have dialogue videos too, okay? So plenty of video content, seven types over the five levels of Learn With Us. Click to move on. So we've seen the first three lessons and what they include. I'd like to pause for a moment to talk about lesson four, which is practice and lesson five. And lesson five is one of my personal favorites in this course. Now, these two lessons are really important because they're dedicated to practice, like pencil to paper practice, and also to speaking and communication. So over on the left of the screen, you can see the practice in lesson four. And this is where um, there's lots of activities to put what we've learned in the previous lessons into practice. OK, so in this case, there's a further opportunity to dance and sing um, the sequences, use of words on pages um, with matching activities and. Um, very straightforward, simple and gradual approach to practice, because the important thing with practice is that it's done regularly in a very structured and gradual way. OK, so lesson four is dedicated to that. Lesson five, on the other hand, as I mentioned before, is dedicated to speaking. And on this page, this is an example from Prima, again, still our, our second unit of Prima, and um, it's all about communication. So it's pronunciation, it's tracing letters, it's understanding the ear for the sounds and starting to reproduce those sounds in English. And the second half of the page is actually learning to speak and communicate with our classmates, okay? So I know it's very small, but I hope you can see the blue part of the page. There's a craft activity and craft literally in Italian, so le attività manuali, okay? And you can see two children on the page here doing an activity. And all of these activities are a really important part of the course because they're practical, they're fun, they're enjoyable, and they put the language into use straight away from the page. And they can be done in pairs and small groups, okay? Now, there's a little purple uh, label and it says fun book 
okay and you may be wondering what that means well this is a really important part of the course because with every level of learn with us students receive i'll hold it up a fun book okay and this is the fun book that i'm holding in front of the screen now for prima okay and it's a booklet of numerous pages with activities that you can do as craft activities as a class okay so there's some related to festivals like this one for christmas and um, and they can be done and used to communicate on the speaking pages i'll show you a couple of examples this is the uh cube that i've made here that you can see on the screen now okay and this cube is to play the monster game okay to learn the parts of the body so i've got the hand i've got the eye and the children construct the cube themselves using their fun book okay and i've got another example this is one for festivita we have an easter bunny here it was recently easter and they're all templates ready made and ready to use uh, for speaking activities my personal favorite is this one which you can see i've been busy with my scissors and glue um, this little basket here can you see it is for teaching food to our students so there's a game that they play with it and they take out the little cards okay we've got milk we have a pastry and we have cheese do you like cheese yes i do no i don't and so on okay so we make these craft activities through our fun book now we have a fun book per level and i'll tell you very shortly about which other types of fun book we have okay here we are this is the slides i was looking for and um, so we have three fun books which are all dedicated to craft, okay? So in prima, seconda, and terza, they're all craft. And there's my fun book for terza. And as you can see inside, I've got plenty of activities for cutting out things like this. It's a story and the students cut out the cards and they have to play games putting the story back into order. I've also got in the Terza fun book, if I can just find it. Bear with me a moment. There's a space to write and personalise a poem in English as well. So lots of cutouts, things, um, activities to uh, cut out, ritagliare. Um, and we do that for prima, seconda and terza. In quarta, it changes and we have culture or civiltà. Okay. And in here, we have plenty of things such as pages about the traditional British cuisine. Whenever I meet with teachers, they ask me about how we eat in Britain, and I'm always eager to defend British food. I don't like the full English breakfast, but lots of people do. My parents love that, and they eat it every Saturday and Sunday, okay? There we are with the traditional uh, Sunday roast lunch. And in this culture fun book, you can find plenty of things to share with your quarter class okay we've even got here eco-friendly houses and how we can protect the environment which is of course a very um, current topic at the moment um now um in quinta things change a little bit and this is one of my favorite fun books this is the drama fun book okay if you can see that and drama is a word I have a lot of difficulty with in Italian. I think it's drammatizzazione. Is that correct? Um, well, this fun book is perfect for getting students talking in English. It contains a series of conversation cards, like the one that you can see on the screen, and also play scripts, okay? So things like, I hope you can see this, Marie Curie, a life in science and it's a play that students can act out in class together as little projects work okay so these are the fun books and they're a really exciting part of learn with us now our final two lessons of each unit are dedicated to revision and personalization so we have can you remember as lesson six and 
a lesson for review in lesson seven with a personalizable aspect. So language only truly becomes our own personal to us when we can when we can personalize it and make it real to our lives. So in lesson seven, that's what our students do. OK, now in each level. So you've seen a typical unit now, but in each level, we've also got revision and a project. OK, and this is an additional project that can typically be done in a small group. So in the example that you can see, they're making a desk tidy and then the children can go home and talk to their families about what they did. Each of the projects also has a video with Alex that explains things and he literally takes objects and says, do you have your scissors? Do you have your pen? You need colored crayons, you need glue. And he lists what you need to complete the project successfully. OK, so projects in every unit too. At each level, we also have culture. This one is from uh, Prima again, and it's pets in the UK. I'll also show you an example this time from Quinta, where we have famous buildings and our student for this level, our friend for this level, which is Jack, goes to London and he comes and tells us all about the famous buildings that he, he saw and went to. And you can see a video related to that too. A lot of teachers that I'm talking about learn with us also ask me about CLIL. And we also have CLIL. There's three double page spreads of CLIL in every level. And there are videos for these two. OK, so that completes our seven types of video over the levels. So CLIL, like this art lesson that you can see on the screen now. We, of course, have plenty of practice in the workbook. And the workbook is together in the same volume as the student's book. OK, so student's book and workbook together with lots of opportunities for personalization. OK, in Quarta and Quinta, we have basically more of everything, but we've really listened to what teachers have asked us for with these two levels. And we've tried to give you everything that you need. So you have more grammar. You have an additional grammar unit for revision. You have an additional revision unit that takes, uh, re, you know, reprende tutto, it revises everything you've done up to that point. We have more conversation in Quinta and Drama too, more culture with the addition of the fun book in Quarta, and also more work to prepare towards in Valsi. Now, I'd like to spend a moment talking more specifically about in Valsi, and that's because we begin um, in Valsi preparation in Quarta in Learn With Us. So we've incorporated lots of exercises to help to prepare for the Invalsi test. It's something that, that's the forefront of our mind as teachers. Um, and we can be rest assured with Learn With Us that the preparation begins early. It begins in Quarta to make it easier for all of our pupils. So wherever you see the red pen icon with the letter I, we have exercises that can prepare that help to prepare towards the test okay so have them in both quarta and quinta in quinta we also have additional extra work for invalsi and we have pages dedicated to invalsi preparation and these exercises look like the real invalsi test with the same style of instructions and the pauses in the listening and so on we also have a complete invalsi practice test in the teachers materials plenty of listening practice because listening of course is such a difficult skill and we also have a syllabus we've learned with us that prepares much more gradually towards the invalsi so it also includes grammar points such as the past simple for example that could come up um, in the invalsi test we never know um, but it could be there so we've also included that okay so invalsi tick it's all covered with learn with us OK, so just a reminder that at the heart of Learn With Us, we have this real world methodology and the children become friends of our pupils and they lead us through the course, telling us and sharing with us all about their lives. OK, so plenty of real world material. Before we move into the final part of the session and then dedicate some time to questions, I'd like to spend a moment talking about the students' materials 
and then I'll show you the teacher's materials. OK, so I've essentially shown you the pack already. OK, so in the case of each level of Learn With Us, students receive class book with workbook and the fun book. OK, now they have the QR code on the front cover for easy access to the audio and video using any QR code scanner. And then the students also receive a CD at every level, okay? So um, it's really particularly handy that they've got a CD, so it means everyone's covered. If they can't use the QR code, most people can use the CD, okay? And we also have the code on the page for the ebook for the students, so they can access their full, complete ebook through the code in the book directly, okay? So the students receive all of those things at each level of Learn With Us, okay? Now I'd like to show you what you would receive as a teacher if you were to adopt Learn With Us. Well, the first thing, of course, is something that we can't do without, and it's our precious Manuela del Insegnante, okay? Our teacher's book. And the teacher's book comes with class CDs inside, as you can see on the screen now. And in the teacher's book, we find all of our nota didattica, our teaching notes. We find extra tests, evaluation grids. There's also audio for the invalsi at level five. And another thing I find in the teacher's book, my CDs have dropped out, unfortunately. We also get a code, I hope you can see that, for the teacher's ebook. And I'll talk to you about that very briefly in a moment. As you can see from the screen, the teacher's book also has lots of colour pages to explain how a unit works. They give you ideas for extension activities, how to teach the lesson if you haven't got access to the LIM one day. It also gives you um, suggerimenti didattici, extra ideas, extension activities and how to advice on how to make the most of all of the resources that you have available to you. Now, ebook that the teacher receives is something that we call the super ebook. Okay, it's a super ebook. And the reason for that, apart from the fact that the ebook contains all of your audio and video pages from the whole course, is that it also includes games. Now, it's very, very small on the screen, but you can see an icon, whoops, sorry, an icon of a joystick. Okay, a piccolino ma si vede l'icona del joystick. OK, clicking on that, you can access games to do on the interactive whiteboard with your students and the six games per unit which recycle and practice the language that you've learned. So an extra special ebook for teachers on our platform, Oxford Learners Bookshelf. OK, now it doesn't finish there for teachers because not only do you have your teacher's book, this one, you also receive something extra with this course. And it's something that we call the Estuccio delle Risorse. And it's essentially a teacher's resource book, okay? Now, this is a really useful book. And as you can see, there's one per level of the course, okay? And it's full of extra materials. So support and ideas for you teachers. It gives you ideas of games and things to try out in the classroom. There's a section on special educational needs. Lots of worksheets, show you a couple of examples, and scared operative to use in class, activities and things to cut out. There's 104 pages of extra resources. There's even a certificate to use when the students have completed the level. OK, and a letter that you can photocopy and send out to uh, the parents of the students in your class. OK, I'm conscious. Just a time. I'd just like to spend a moment to talk about the kit resource. This is a big box of teachers' resources. I've got a couple of examples here. We have flashcards, story cards, big posters. Okay, this is one about festivals, for example. Okay, and what you can't see very clearly is that you receive a poster made of plastic to hang on your classroom wall. This is a routine chart, um, a today chart, and you can use the flashcards and the word cards to put inside the pockets to um, have a routine at the beginning of the lesson, 
okay so this comes in the teacher's resource kit the kit resource and with hundreds of flashcards and extra resources to use a final few words be, uh, before we move on to questions to talk about our collaboration with Ericsson. Now, many of you may already be familiar with the book that you see on the screen now. Here's my copy, La Stuccia della Regola di Inglese. And this is a book by Ericsson, which we will be giving away to teachers who adopt Learn With Us in Prima or in Quarta for next year. You can have a look at this book online, you can see what it's like, but it's all of the rules of the English language in a really handy, colourful guide. And that um, is part of our collaboration with Ericsson, this branded version of the Astrucia della Regola. The collaboration with Ericsson doesn't finish there because we also have pages inside Learn With Us by Ericsson. For example, these I'm holding up and the ones you can see on the screen. This is a section inside each level of Learn With Us called Language Practice for Italian Students, okay, by Ericsson. So really good for a fully inclusive classroom, okay? So really important, this collaboration. And you can see a couple of examples from inside the Astuccia delle Regole on the screen now. So these are all scheda that you can use and incorporate into your lessons. OK, if you're interested in seeing a sample copy of Learn With Us, we have um, two QR codes on the screen if you would like to scan them. Um, we also have information on this available through your local Rizzoli representative or through the Oxford Facebook channel. And you can flick through the pages of Learn With Us. OK, um, and. We've also got a demo of the classroom presentation tool. If you register for our platform, oxfordlearnersbookshelf.com, you can put the code in that you see on the screen now, and it will give you a complete demo unit of Prima, okay? So it's not yet complete, but if you have the physical teacher's book, you can also use the code from in the teacher's book, um, and you can see how it works, you can see what the games are like, and so on, okay? so. If you miss the code, don't worry, you can ask your local representative for it. And incidentally, if you register for that platform at the moment, we have a special offer at Oxford of 24 e-readers for the primary sector, access free of charge until the end of June. So if you're not already registered for Oxford Learners Bookshelf, I recommend that you register and get your students to register too, and you'll be able to access 24 Lettura Graduata per la Scuola Primaria. OK, so that's the end of my presentation. I'm conscious of time and my schools are going to go on a little bit with the time. I'm going to ask you a little bit, colleague Rizzoli, and we'll see if there are any questions. I'm going to thank you all very much. Thank you, everyone, for listening to my session. And I'm here if there are any questions. I'm here if there are any questions. Grazie Jennifer, mi hanno portato dentro mentre sorridevo perché dicevi che era andata un po' lunga, non c'è problema. <ride> allora, Thank oggi, you. Good. Infatti, un pochino, ah, intanto eh, ti, ti ringraziano tutti per il tuo italiano perfetto e, e, e ti ringrazio anch'io, complimenti davvero. Lo sapessi io così d'inglese. <ride> a, a, a parte questo, siamo stati un po' sfortunati con la diretta YouTube perché ci ha tagliato un pezzetto all'inizio. Eh, ho visto qualcuno un po' disorientato, eh, noi avevamo detto all'inizio, poi Jennifer, vabbè, ripeto che sei il Senior Education Consultant per eh, Oxford eh, in Italia, ma non credo che tu abbia bisogno di presentazioni. Quello che mi premeva dire era che avevamo detto che, erano, che era un, uh, un seminario sulle metodologie didattiche, le nuove metodologie didattiche in Learn for Us, perché ho visto un pochino di disorientamento. La novità Oxford 2020. Uh -huh. Ti lascio prendere fiato perché poi ho una domanda per te. Rispondo io a una serie di altre domande che sono, arrivato, che sono arrivate. Ok, sem benissimo. Semplicemente per non lasciare informazioni inesatte in giro. Molti, è accaduto anche la settimana scorsa, chiedono informazioni sulle nuove adozioni. Si può adottare o no? Si possono adottare nuovi libri? Qualcuno ha messo in chat che il decreto ministeriale ha indicato che non ci saranno nuove adozioni per il prossimo anno. Allora, 
stiamo alle cose che ci sono, ai fatti. Eh? Siamo in questo momento sospesi, nel senso che il decreto ministeriale dice che eventualmente ci saranno conferme se la scuola non riaprirà il 18 di maggio. Questo significa che anche se la scuola non riapre il 18 di maggio c'è un discorso, c'è una cosa che dice eventualmente, e, e questo è bello perché ho proprio qui te, eventualmente in italiano significa una cosa diversa rispetto all'inglese, giusto? Fosse stato mm. eventually in inglese, alla fine invece no. Alla eventualmente, fine. Ecco, eventualmente <ride> invece apre la possibilità e il decreto rimanda a una circolare. Quindi da quel punto di vista la situazione a tutt'oggi è sospesa. L'unico dato tecnico concreto che abbiamo è che il database dell'AIE ha riaperto la settimana scorsa, quindi tecnicamente le segreterie delle scuole possono inserire i codici dei libri per l'adozione o per la conferma. Dentro ci sono libri vecchi e nuovi. Per cui in questo momento tecnicamente la situazione è questa. Siamo sospesi, non c'è un decreto che dice di non adottare, non c'è nulla che dice di adottare. Siamo in questa situazione e la viviamo naturalmente e poi in qualche modo si sbloccherà definitivamente. Quello che sembra è che si vada verso una situazione di non blocco, dato questo eventualmente e dato questa apertura del database dell'AI. Questo solo per correttezza di, eh, di informazione. Altro, altra cosa tecnica, eh, le slide di Jennifer, dico a tutti, saranno disponibili con la solida modalità delle slide del primaria live e poi invece... Uh, Jennifer, ti faccio l'altra domanda, la domanda perché c'erano diverse domande sui materiali uh, BES e DSA, però poi hai parlato della parte Ericsson e quindi qui ci siamo. C'erano diverse domande su suggerimenti sulla didattica a distanza. Io ti giro questa cosa, ti faccio raccontare un attimo e, e però intanto mi devi promettere che poi tornerete come Oxford a fare qualcosa proprio magari sulla didattica a distanza nell'inglese, che è una cosa che manca un pochettino anche nel panorama della didattica a distanza su cui abbiamo ragionato. Eh, qualche suggerimento, Jennifer, anche legato a Learn for, uh, With Us? Sì, um, sicuramente Learn With Us, avendo uno strumento per l'insegnante per la LIM molto ricca, si presta molto bene perché um, permette all'insegnante insegnanti di condividere lo schermo usando l'ebook per il docente ehm, e attraverso le pagine che troviamo del libro c'è tutta la fase l'audio e video ok allora sicuramente ma anche per i nostri test eh, altri testi come cito the rainbow bridge ehm, l'ebook dell'insegnante è uno strumento molto utile devo dire con learn with us siamo andati oltre eh, diciamo lo standard um, degli ebook docente finora perché ci sono molto più risorse um, e anche questi giochi nuovi ok allora quelli possono essere utili um, poi con learn with us ovviamente abbiamo anche la struttura delle risorse quello a spirale di cui parlavo prima, se lo trovo un secondo, questo libro qui potrebbe essere super utile per la didattica a distanza se dovesse continuare anche per il nuovo anno scolastico, proprio perché è pieno di risorse in più. Se pensate che ci sono più di 520 pagine ehm, nei cinque livelli, dentro questo libro, studenti di giochi, schede operative, ehm, sicuramente una mano in più ecco, per la didattica a distanza. Ehm, vi consiglierei tutti poi anche di fare la registrazione per la nostra piattaforma Oxford Learners Bookshelf. Um, L'ho toccato velocemente perché um, guardavo anche il tempo del, del session. Um, se vi registrate per Oxford Learners Bookshelf um, ci sono materiali uh, con le letture graduate che possono essere utili per la didattica a distanza. Um, ogni bambino che si registra trova queste risorse e sono 24 titoli Um, che sono adatti per la scuola primaria, uh, tutti con audio, tutti con degli esercizi, possono essere veramente utili. Grazie Jennifer, okay. tantissimo. Ora è più o meno tutto, però ovviamente um, sì, didattica a distanza, una domanda che ci stanno facendo tutti eh. e stiamo pensando per il futuro di um, ulteriori soluzioni, ecco. 
Un'altra cosa, però, credo che tu, perché a un certo punto c'erano domande sul CLIL, eh, l'abbiamo visto, è stato, eh, chiedevano se c'erano giochi interattivi da usare sulla Lima e li hai fatti, hai fatto vedere, li hai fatti vedere, sì. Mi chiedevano una sì, cosa... Sì, ci che... sono sei giochi interattivi per unità, 36 per, live, per livello più o meno, e ripassano il lessico, sono di consolidamento di ciò che hanno imparato nell'unità. Mi fanno una domanda specifica e provo a farla solo per far ridere. Allora, chiedono se per la, per la LIM ci sono attività come Find the Couple o, o Hangman, cioè per fare la review del vocabulary. Ok, mi sono Ok, sì, come Memory e Hangman. Ecco, sì, eh, credo di aver capito quali giochi sono e ci sono, sì, con le carte che si girano, eh, abbinamenti di parole, immagini, sì, ci sono di quel tipo di lì. Hangman non mi ricordo specificamente, ehm, veramente dovrei controllare perché sono tantissimi giochi e non mi ricordo se c'è proprio quello. Comunque, altri giochi di quel tipo di sì. No, no, ma era solo perché, ma immagino, sì, ho visto che un sacco di giochi, era, era solo per mettere in evidenza che non so pronunciare, l'ho fatta apposta la domanda per me. Allora, non è venuto così male, dai, non, è, non, non c'è problema. Grazie. Eh, allora, ascolta, a questo punto, sì, siamo andati un po' lunghi, io ti eh, saluterei, per, tengo un attimo lì prima di... di... Ah, Aspetta, mi, mi chiedono di ripetere l'indirizzo della, della piattaforma OUP. Ok, la piattaforma, quella delle letture graduate, immagino. Eh, la piattaforma è... Posso tornare a quel slide? Se siamo in tempo torno un attimo al slide. Sì, credo. È questo qui, ok. Non, non so se aiuta a vederlo così, però sì. questa è la piattaforma www.oxfordlearnersbookshelf.com, tutto attaccato. Um, se una nuova registrazione, magari una famiglia che fa la registrazione per la prima volta, quando entrano vedono un pop-up sullo schermo che chiede se volete accettare i libri. In realtà sono 148 libri, è solo che 24 sono adatti per la primaria. Per una volta accettati, quei libri rimarranno nella libreria virtuale fino alla fine di giugno. E questa è la piattaforma. Ok? Perfetto. Grazie, chiarissimo. Allora, ti tengo un attimo lì, poi ti Grazie faccio... Grazie a te. Eh, volevo dire, a questo punto, eh, con Primaria Live ci vediamo giovedì, torniamo a un format più usuale. Andiamo a parlare di una cosa molto interessante e divertente, una cosa che ci avete chiesto, andiamo a parlare di gioco enigmistico e quindi di strategie didattiche diverse per la grammatica, l'ortografia e per la matematica. A questo punto Jennifer, ciao, grazie mille ancora. Grazie a voi e grazie a tutti gli insegnanti. Buona serata, arrivederci. Arrivederci, buona serata a tutti, a giovedì.